what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we shall discuss on the million dollar question finally so many requests for this video and here it is how to improve our moon the mind the manas and how to degrade it <laughs> okay so today we shall discuss on all those topics okay so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please 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 approach me through my website please do not mail me or please do not uh, send me messages in whatsapp because then again i have to send you the link of my website it is there below please approach me through the website <coughs> all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will definitely help you improve our moon all right even if it is in a very good place okay and yes if you want me to make any other video then please let me know and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end of course okay so now <coughs> we discussed on how to improve the sun and many people liked it so i will give a similar approach to the moon also okay so what is the moon basically moon represents the manas the mind the way we perceive this world the what the way we think about this world the way we think of others moon represents the public moon represents the people it represents the mother all right and motherly figures and ladies in our family also moon and venus yes we all know about it now moon also represents water so one of the biggest simplest and easiest remedies for afflicted debilitated miserable downtrodden moon is the first thing you should do in the morning is go and take a bath should i repeat <laughs> the first thing you should do in the morning is go as soon as you get up from the bed go and take a bath immediately there's this thing in some places i know that oh uh, as soon as you get up now this face you go and watch tv half an hour and then half an hour you, you are in facebook you are doing this you are doing that no it doesn't work like that because see when you are sleeping you are in the mode of ignorance tamoguna is very prominent in you so it is uh, like say in the scriptures it is said anything that you do without taking bath Uh, is like uh, suppose you go to the kitchen and you are cooking without taking bath it's and you are feeding that food to yourself or to your family members scriptures say that it is like feeding your stool to somebody yes because your body is very dirty so so in india especially uh, they will not enter the kitchen or the puja room without taking bath have you seen people entering or oh, some people may enter in kali yuga also but in general i have seen they don't enter so if you do not enter the puja room yes which is a sacred place then why do you enter the kitchen or the drawing room or any other place without taking bath yes we should not enter this is very important and have you seen those people they will keep delaying the take that uh, ceremony of taking bath <laughs> like uh, even in my family i have some people uh, my some elders will be telling them oh go and take bath go and take bath go and take bath they will be like yeah i will take i will take i will take i will take at 11 i will take at 2 recently <coughs> somebody messaged me that uh, the, he took a bath at uh, 6 pm in the night all right <laughs> then i was wondering uh, why do you need to take a bath at 6 pm in the night yes you can take it uh, you can leave leave for that day right because there's no use of taking bath in the night so now somebody will write oh we are you saying that we should not take bath in the night no i'm not saying that i'm saying that whenever you take bath how many ever times but you must take bath early in the morning if you can check how your moon is by this if you feel a inertia inside if you feel a resistance for taking bath that means there is some serious trouble with your moon because psychologists say that one of the first symptoms that a person is getting mad is that he or she does not want to take bath yes should i repeat no 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 it's enough <laughs> so this does not mean that if you uh, don't want to take bath you are mad but it simply means that 
when you take bath then you are improving the sattva guna inside you because water is in the mode of goodness yes sattva rajas tamas these three modes of ignorance uh, modes of the material nature goodness passion and ignorance so when you are sleeping you are in tamaguna which is the mode of ignorance darkness <coughs> and when you have uh, taken bath that means it is in the mode of sattva yes it is in the mode of goodness so the first thing immediately anybody does is go and take bath that is why if somebody is in a ashram yes in a brahmachari ashram in the ashram in the gurukul the first thing the guru tells is the moment you are up go and take bath no grazing no snacking no whatsapping no facebooking <laughs> all right everything else can be done later <clears throat> then you can go and cook you can do whatever you want the world will not collapse if you don't take bath because anyways you have to take bath right so that is the first thing you should do all right so if you are a parent then you must ensure that your children behaves this way otherwise things may get difficult later on that will form a habit i know people who do not take bath till Four o'clock in the evening, yes, and then, anyways, change the topic. <laughs> okay, so that is the first thing you have to do, and that is why I am stressing on that very much. The next thing is, we should not wear any dress the second time. Should I repeat? Anything which we have put in our body once, the next day we should not wear that. We should always wear fresh clothes. Yes, because. clothes are also represented by moon and venus yes and we should always wear clothes which are ironed properly preferably if uh, you are married or you have a uh, place nearby where you can give your clothes for the iron ceremony <laughs> but at, e- even if you can't do that at least you can ensure that you are wearing fresh clothes every day all right because when whenever you wear something Uh, that gets tainted with uh, your sweat and that goes into the mode of ignorance so you will see people who are spiritually elevated they will always wear fresh clothes all right this does not mean every day you have to wear a new cloth yes it can be the same two three pairs but you should keep washing it every day yes these are some practical remedies which i am suggesting i am not suggesting some bombastic mantra here million dollar mantra <laughs> and then the next thing is please keep your surroundings very 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 clean especially the place where you stay most of the time yes especially the room or the house where you stay cleanliness is under the planet moon so if you go to a house and you see that uh, the place is cluttered very much yes everything is just lying here there yes so then that means the person is having a difficult moon because see what happens is when your moon is not well placed then you like to stay dirty should i repeat you like to stay in a dirty place <laughs> that is why you go to somebody's house and you see how disgusting the room is it's full clutter it's full of dirt and it's horrible but then you ask the person man how are you staying in such a dirty room man why don't you clean this then this person will be like what's the problem and it's cool <laughs> it's not cool the problem is you are permanently damaged that's the problem that is why that which is like garbage is appearing to be very beautiful to you all right so if these things are there in our life we we have to make sure that we need to uh, clear all this all right otherwise we will perpetuate our debility or <laughs> affliction to the moon all right now what is the next thing we should do is especially if our moon is debilitated we must ensure that we fast on mondays yes that means sunday night whatever we have eaten we have eaten and then the next meal we take after 6 pm because <coughs> in some countries the sunset may be delayed yes like in germany in the summer the sunset is at 11 o'clock so <coughs> we don't have to fast till 11 and in some countries Uh, in winter especially like again in germany 3 o'clock there is sunset yes but 6 pm is the time which my guru had suggested so <coughs> till evening 6 we can fast especially if our moon is debilitated okay because by that we are voluntarily accepting some negative karma inside us inside our body so that our planetary karma related to that uh, aspect of our life which is moon can improve all right then another thing we can do is if moon is weak in the chart then we can 
go and donate especially to elder lady elderly ladies yes to old age homes especially this is very powerful or even in uh, vrindavan there are so many videos vrindavan is a place in india where lord krishna was uh, performing his pastimes when he was there 5000 years back for the western audience <coughs> so in vrindavan also there are so many videos they will so they are also in need of money they also need to survive they also need to sustain yes so many videos go there to stay and perfect their last years of their spiritual journey which is very beautiful of course so we need to support them or we can go and donate uh, clothes especially white clothes to the people who are in old age homes in other places also okay and the other thing we can do is if we want to improve our mood we should always wear this white cloth yes dhoti and kurta <laughs> kurta especially dhoti you may not wear but especially in south india i have seen they even, even millionaires no? rich people they will also be coming in a mitsubishi pajero in a mercedes in a bmw but they will always have their lungis and their dhotis intact that's so beautiful to see that's a rare sight which is only visible in south india maybe in some parts of north india also so that's very much appreciated because whenever we wear the color white uh, moon improves because moon represents the white color all right what is the other thing we should do the other thing we should do is before sleeping we must ensure that we take lukewarm milk should i repeat lukewarm milk which is not very hot not very cold and just before sleeping we can take one glass of that milk with kesar or haldi or with both kesar is saffron and haldi is turmeric Be- because then what happens is we are investing the element of jupiter into milk turmeric is represented by jupiter okay guru brihaspati so jupiter and moon are very good friends and cancer is the exaltation sign of jupiter as we all know yes so that means whenever we are having milk with either saffron or with turmeric then that is very 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 good for us yes because that will improve the situation and this should be done in the night not in the day of course okay and it should not be cold it should not be very hot it should be like you can just sip it slowly slowly it should be like that all right so that is another very important remedy which we can do and another remedy we can do is uh, wear gemstones related to moon like moonstone or some other gemstones but i will not say about this here because gemstones have to be suggested after seeing the individual horoscope depending on the lagna etc so i have said we can wear gemstones that is one of the remedy but i cannot say which gemstone you should wear which gemstone you should not wear okay but if you know somebody who is an expert in gemstones then yes you can go and wear it all right now so many people ask me they have this moon rahu conjunction yes so i'll make videos on uh, specific conjunctions later but because this is a general video on moon so that is why i am uh, speaking everything whatever can be there in the chart all right so especially for planets like moon with rahu or ketu then it is very important that see what happens with moon rahu is the moment because see rahu ketu are like clouds yes we don't see them they are only inside because they don't have physical bodies they are chayagrahas so because of that what happens is the moment we see that somebody is pretending to be very happy we seriously start believing them yes which means the moment you see a photo in facebook of a boy and a girl who is very happy apparently who is looking very happy <laughs> okay then we start to believe it we start believing that they are actually very happy yes now they may be happy i'm not saying that they are not happy or that they are posting lies but they are not that happy as they show there yes that is to be understood but when moon is with rahu or ketu what i have seen is in my experience these people tell me oh everybody seems to be happy other than me no 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 it's not like that <laughs> so that is why a very important remedy which one of my guru suggested is this is a practical remedy you know for 21st century especially for the age of 2020 the kind of time which we are in now directly go and delete your instagram account my god seriously should i repeat directly go and delete your instagram account because 
Instagram is what basically a big bunch of blatant lies which people post. Yes, they'll put filters and they will show. Uh, there are so many photos I see of men and women. They will expose their bodies and they will show. Oh, how perfect my body is! Na? They will show their front, back, up, bottom, na? everything. They will show, and then you will get into that inferiority complex. Oh my God! Look how beautiful the body of that girl is. Damn. Look how horrible I look. <laughs> Even you, if you look good, but your mind will tell you, "Oh, look, that girl is looking so hot. Nah? You look so cold." <laughs> yes. And then what happens? You will also try to prove to the universe that yes, 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 I also need to do that. Then what you will do? You will uh, download multiple apps where you will uh, put more, more, more and more filters. Yes, you will put those collage. Now for eight photos, I I saw one photo of a girl recently. Uh, there was like uh, eight. Eight photos together clubbed in a collage, and just like the same face. So I was wondering, what's the difference? I mean, it's one face only, right? <laughs> But this is what Rahu does. Rahu says, "No, no, no, no. Put more. Put more. Put more. Put more." So Rahu, the moment you see somebody who is appearing to be happy, Rahu tells you, "Look, you are such a bloody loser." You are the biggest loser. You are such a loser. You don't have what that person has. You see. So now. You must have what that person has. Okay, so now what you do? You also click a photo, and you also upload in Instagram. You also put filters. You also do this. You do that. Now and then you share in Facebook. My God, it goes rampant completely. And then when you don't get number of likes as you expected, maybe. Now recently there was one girl who said to me, "Oh, now that photo in Facebook it stopped in 998 likes. It did not." Cross thousand, and I was like, even if it crosses ten thousand, how is it going to affect you, madam? <laughs> But this Rahu, this illusion thing of Facebook, social media, and all this, this gives you so much tormentation. Now you may say, no, 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 that is just Facebook. वो तो कहने की बात है ना, it's just a thing to say. No, it's not like that. It affects you. It will torment you. All right. so please 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 stay away from all these things if you have moon rahu or moon ketu conjunction all right so especially uh, in my case personally uh, whatever it is but i have uh, deleted my instagram account <laughs> january last year so it's been almost one year because i was like the moment i see na i see people with hashtags oh having the time of my life na having the best phase of my life having the most charming girl in my life na and then after some time i saw these people contacting me and saying my god hey bhagwan mujhe bacha lo na tufaan aa gaya hai this this tsunami in my life please protect me na oh what happened oh i i just had a break up but then uh, you were uploading these photos right but uh, when um, moon is with rahu or with ketu or even if it is not there in kaliyuga you don't need rahu <laughs> because kaliyuga is consisting of rahu everywhere all right so if we have these conjunctions then make sure that we uh, be very realistic and we can make some rules for ourselves that okay in a week only for one hour i will use facebook or i will use instagram if at all we are using we can use it to uh, have a look of what people are going through in their lives that that's okay but it should not become an obsession and with a terrible moon the problem is it becomes an obsession all right so we need to take care that these things uh, do not hamper us what is the next thing that we should do the next thing that we should do is especially for conjunctions like moon and saturn this can represent a person who is in depression yes that is known as wish yoga in astrology <coughs> depending on other placements of course now what happens if uh, moon is linked with saturn then what happens is the person thinks too much then he or she should think <laughs> all right this is not over processing over processing is more of moon and mercury but what happens with moon and saturn is the person always imagines the worst case scenario yes so we should make sure if we have conjunctions like moon and saturn we do not stay with those people who always speak negative things should i repeat no no it's enough <laughs> because already that combination is there if you stay with these people yes like some of my friends in the mundane circles when i was there in india i remember 
The only thing they will do is come and uh, they'll keep bitching. Oh, their girlfriend did this, their boyfriend did this, their mother did this, their father did this, their uh, boss did this, their employees did like this. I'm like, oh, man, do you only find me? <laughs> you go anywhere and speak, but don't come to me, please. I don't want to hear of uh, what are the negativities which are going on in this world. Yes. And then you have all these news channels. Yes. Uh, they are refurbishing the old garbage again and again. Basically, what is news? News is basically, there's a very beautiful definition of news, which I heard recently. So I would like to tell it here. Basically, uh, that definition said, news is what basically? News is nothing but old things happening to new people. Should I repeat? News is old things happening to new people. Okay, there was a bomb blast there 10 years back. One week back, there was another bomb blast there. Yes. There was a murder happening there. There was a scandal there and today there's another scandal. The question is, how is it going to improve my life? <laughs> yes. So as seekers of spirituality, yes, when we are trying to go close to God, then it is very important that we discipline our time by not wasting it in such frivolous actions like news channels, TV channels, uh, all this nonsense, which is there. Now, that does not mean you should not see news. Yes, you can see in the morning, five minutes, 10 minutes, now that headlines which they give, or you can watch for half an hour a day. I'm not saying that you should not watch news. It is good to uh, have a knowledge of what is going on. But when we are endlessly going on, uh, grazing on topics which we cannot change <laughs> or which we have no control over, or which is not going to benefit me in my life. Yes. How is it going to benefit me to see a debate show for 45 minutes if I'm not even sitting there, not even I'm contributing there. Yes. So I hope intelligent people are having the brain and uh, brain substance to understand what I'm saying. Yes. So these are the things that we should do. And now the two most important remedies. Which is the sign where moon gets exalted? Moon gets exalted in the sign of Taurus. That means Venus is the dispositor of an exalted moon. Yes. That means to the degree our Venus is spoiled, to that degree our moon will malfunction. Should I repeat? To the degree Venus is not in control, to that degree our moon will be disturbed. Yes. That is why people who are indulging in areas of Venus, way, way, way beyond then they should indulge, especially by watching pornography. They are simply destroying their moon. They are destroying their Venus, but after you destroy Venus, your moon is automatically destroyed. Yes, because what happens when you are watching pornography? When you are watching pornography, you are investing the element of Rahu, unrealistic things which do not happen in the real world. All those things are shown there, yes, in pornography and different sensual uh, material which is available in YouTube. I will not take names because then if I take names, then somebody will blast me in the comments. So how do you say like this about this? No? So I will refrain from taking any names. The public is intelligent enough to understand what I'm saying. All right. Any TV series, any movie serials where there is sensual topics going on, if we are seeing that, then we are destroying our venus that means the dispositor of an exalted moon is no longer functioning yes so there you go whenever you see that somebody is indulging in all these things like if somebody is watching pornography you go and uh, see his room it his or her room it will be very dirty yes it will be very dirty and these people will not like to take bath no? they will always speak harsh words and the kind of vocabulary that they will use in this pornographic material now, their vocabulary is also like that. Now, I will not take words here. <laughs> and then they will, uh, their entire behavior goes like that. Yes, the moment they see the body of an opposite sex, that is what they will be thinking all the time. And then what happens? You get into a relationship or you get married. And then after two months, you call an astrologer and you say, Oh, I am not finding sexual happiness with my partner. What should I do? Well, you married a girl, not a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> Your wife is a girl. She's a woman. She's not a prostitute that she will come and uh, satisfy all of your needs and desires like uh, the prostitutes, which they uh, indulge in pornographic material. Yes. So if you are in the clouds, 
then uh, when you come to the ground it will hurt you right so please stay away from such material and do not destroy yourself and even other venusian things like wine alcohol uh, cigarette smoking i don't know where this comes some say saturn is the karaka for all this but to the degree we are indulging in venusian things in a wrong way yes especially things like alcohol there is no question of that some people say that alcohol is good in moderate amounts he or she is a rascal if he tells that yes throw that person into the garbage out of your life if somebody is telling like that everything is good in moderation no you do not eat stool yes <laughs> everything is good in moderation is correct but you have to know what to eat in moderation eating alcohol or sorry drinking alcohol in moderation is not good not because it's scripturally long or vedas or bhagavatam says no it has nothing to do with these scriptures but you are destroying your body so please do not do that <laughs> if you are doing that your chandra will automatically be demolished all right so that is very important taking care of venus be very regulated whenever it comes to venus luxury sexuality and all this otherwise you are on a royal road for destruction and what is the last and the most important thing that we should do now you see which sign does moon rules moon rules the sign of cancer yes that means we should have something in cancer which looks very beautiful and who is that planet which gets exalted there it is none other than jupiter so now the question is why does jupiter gets exalted in cancer why not in sagittarius or why not in some other sign like leo or no because sagitt uh, jupiter in cancer represents bhakti yoga which lord krishna talks of and the end of the gita na bhaktim mayam param kritwa bhakti yoga is what basically bhakti yoga in essence is trying to engage our emotions in god yes cancer is the sign of mother cancer is the core house of the emotions it is the original fourth house of our heart right so that means when we invest our emotions in god not just going to the temple and just uh, bowing down yes those are the things which come in sagittarius those are required i'm not saying uh, they are not required they are also required in fact they represent the foundation they represent the beginning they represent the basics yes so when we do all those spiritual practices but eventually we also come to a mood of humble surrender which is uh the process of bhakti yoga and we hear about the stories the past times of lord vishnu lord ram lord krishna and then we pray and then we go to the temple we uh, take enlightenment from the uh, saintly people there and then we also discuss about uh, uh, uh the scriptural teachings that lord krishna says in the gita machitta mat katha prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayantascha mam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha that whenever my devotees will meet each other they will always delight in discussing about me they will not discuss about <laughs> game of thrones or what happened in ipl yesterday right who won the match between india and pakistan because anyways even if india wins how is it going to affect me in my life yes my wife is still going to shout at me my boss is still going to yell at me and my children is are still going to fail in their exams yes if they are behaving that way so either india wins or pakistan loses in my life it is not going to make any difference yes or even if germany wins the football world cup which it did uh, in 2000 i don't know 15 or 14 maybe it is not going to affect my life so whenever we meet people we should discuss about spiritual topics and then by that we are improving the element of jupiter in us and then our mind will automatically become calm all right so bhakti means to submit ourselves to devote ourselves to god completely now this does not mean that you uh, you have to take saffron dress and you have to go around uh, like a sanyasi it does not mean that it simply means that whatever we are doing in our life we try to arrange the things in a way that god is in the center all right so i will make more videos on bhakti yoga and as of now i can just say that improve your spiritual life do your mantras regularly and then meet your guru take enlightenment from the guru and take blessings of god and pray to god and then by that your moon will improve and lastly the avatar of vishnu who represents the 
Chandravamsh, the Moon Dynasty. Yes, that is Lord Krishna himself. So, reading the Gita especially is very powerful. Yes, even if you are a Muslim, then you can read the Quran. If you are a Christian, you can read the Bible. You do not need to read the Gita. Okay, if you want, you can also read. There is nothing wrong in that. But you don't need to because you already have your age-old scriptures for that. Okay. So that is what I wanted to say. This has been a very long video. So somebody will write that, oh, the video is too long. But that's what I wanted to say in so much time from half an hour that in summary, take a bath when you get up, then take milk in the night, be clean, wear fresh dress, keep your surroundings clean, wear white clothes, respect your mother, motherly personalities, fast on Mondays, donate on Mondays, and then stay away from harmful addictions like pornography indulging in wrong things like eating meat or even taking alcohol and staying with those people moon and saturn who always talk of negative things then moon rahu instagram facebook tang tang <laughs> ting tong alarm yes moon rahu my god such a deadly combination this is now somebody will write in the charts. Oh, no, no, I have Moon Rahu. I am not like that. I don't know, man. I have to see your whole chart. So just because you have Moon Rahu, that does not mean you will behave like that. Yes. And lastly, we should always take care that we practice our spiritual pursuits properly. And we regulate our Venus and also talk of the Bhagavad Gita. And we can listen to lectures in YouTube and thereby help ourselves and make our life peaceful and preserve and improve and protect our moon and yes how to destroy the moon exactly do the opposite don't take a bath take a bath in the night <laughs> go and watch pornography stay with people who are discussing about the opposite sex yes and what else go and stay with people who say everything is good in moderation na? as in hindi uh, some of my friends they say zindagi mein sab try karna chahiye ek baar <laughs> So go and stay with these people. Na? Then your moon will be so destroyed. <laughs> that even if the avatar of Vishnu, Lord Krishna comes, you will be standing still. Just like Duryodhan, Shakuni, Dushasana and Karna. Lord Krishna was directly there in front of them. But they didn't know that he was there. Yes. So that's what happens. When your moon is in a terrible state. Even if God is standing in front of you, you will be like, Oh, I don't see him. <laughs> That's what Duryodhan said. Everybody said to Duryodhana that Krishna is God. You cannot win this war. You're such a fool. But this fellow, he said that, No, 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 I will win. Who said Krishna is God? I don't believe it. <laughs> so, even if God comes in front of you, yes, some people say, if God is existing, where, where is he? Now show me God. Now bring him in front of me. Now as if he's your father's servant. As in Hindi, they say, Oh, no, 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 I can't utter that here. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, even if God comes in front of you, you will not be able to see him. Even if you see him, you'll be like, okay, good. You are good in your world. I am good in my world. Push off. Bye-bye. See you. Choose. <laughs> Choose means bye-bye in German. You will say to God, <laughs> Okay, that's what people do. Yes, especially in some countries like India. They, even if they go to a temple, they are like watching Facebook or doing WhatsApp. Yes, that's how they are. Uh, reciprocating with God and then they come to uh, us and ask oh sir you said that mantra will work that mantra is not working now nah? give me the timeline 15 days one month when the mantra will work huh? it's like they've gone to a corporate office now nah? they will give deadlines 15 days 20 days nah? that's horrendous to do like that <laughs> okay so it's been a very long video so pray to God and then by that your moon will definitely improve okay wish you good luck with your Moon. Bye-bye. See you.